igneous rocks. Igneous rock forms from melted rock or magma. Magma exists inside the Earth's surface and it becomes lava when it is released through a volcanic eruption. When it cools, that is when it becomes igneous rock. Igneous comes from the Greek word for fire. Deep below the Earth's surface, it gets hot enough to melt rock. Igneous rock is formed from melted rock. You can see lava flowing from an erupting ar arena, a volcano in Costa Rica. Magma is found deep inside the earth where it is hot enough to melt rock. It is less dense than other rocks, so it rises toward the surface. There are two types of igneous rock, intrusive and extrusive. El Capitan is an intrusive rock formation found next to the Merced River in Yosemite National Park. Intrusive rock is magma that cools before it reaches Earth's surface. It cools slowly because it is surrounded by other rock. Since intrusive rock cools more slowly, the crystals have more time to grow. That's why intrusive rocks, like granite, have larger crystals. Can you see them in this close-up? When hot magma explodes out of the Earth's surface, it's called lava. Lava cools and hardens to become extrusive igneous rock. In this picture, lava explodes from a volcano on Stromboli Island, located south of Sicily, Italy. This volcanic glass, called obsidian, is extrusive rock. It formed from an eruption of the Newberry Volcano in Oregon. Cooled extrusive rock has smaller crystals than intrusive rock and is usually smoother and fine-grained, even glassy. Basalt, extrusive rock, is the most common igneous rock in the solar system. It cools quickly. Most of Earth's surface is composed of basalt. This basaltic lava erupted from Python de la Fornace, an active volcano in the Indian Ocean. Dolerite, granite, and basalt are all examples of igneous rock.